Hello, everybody. Today we're going to talk about our council estate. Uh, you know, it's a uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful new building we got a few months ago, and there's a ton of buffs available in it. So I want to go over it real quick, and make sure that you guys understand how to utilize it uh, to the best of its ability. Okay, here we go. All right, so the council estate back here. Uh, the council estate is uh, limited on how high you can upgrade it based upon your victory column. So uh, if you don't have your victory column leveled up, you're not going to be able to take it all the way. Level 30 is uh, the equivalent of a, uh, is, is to the level 10 uh, victory column. Okay. All right, so we've talked about soul binding. That's also done in the council estate, but we're going to talk about the Senate. The Senate, uh, this is the thing that we really want to cover real quick. Okay, so what is the Senate? The Senate is a place that allows you to place generals to benefit your overall keep. And um, it has six different titles and six different positions, or six different titles that are available. And uh, in, within each title, you have... Uh, four different positions, uh, one for ground, one for cav, archers, and siege. So this is going to be true in each of the titles within the Senate. So you have six of them. So you have six titles. Uh, these first three are uh, opened up based upon the level of the uh, Council of State. Uh, level one, or The governor opens up between level 1 and level 10 of Council of State. Commander opens up between 13 and 22. The Marshal opens up between 24 and 30. Um, the Leading Senator is based upon SVS scores and uh, you winning SVS and the SVS scores. BOG is based upon BOG scores and winning within that match. And there are certain requirements for each one of them. And then same way with um, Honorary Senator. The Honorary Senator is based upon uh, BOC. So council estate level for the first three, and then uh, SVS, BOG, and BOC. Okay, so each of these titles can be leveled up. As you can see, I have a level 0, a level 1, level 2, and a level 3. And each one of these is has uh, four positions possible. Um, so the, this means I have four generals assigned to all four positions. Within this one, I don't have my victory column 10 yet, so I can't open up the last one. As you can see here, it's locked, and it says you need to council state level 30. So if I go to that, it says I have to have victory column level 10. Go to that, and I just met the requirements. I'll be opening it up later so that I can open the council estate level 30 and make that position available. Okay, uh, so if you don't have a general assigned to all four of them, this number will turn red and it'll be like three of four or two of four or whatever, then you can just go in here and add generals to it. So what generals do you add? Um, it doesn't matter. They just have to be a pure, uh, whatever that type is. So if it's ground, it has to be a pure ground, uh, pure cav, pure archer, pure siege. It doesn't have to be a new general. It can be somebody from the uh, tavern. If you notice, I have like I have Trajan right here. Um, you can get plenty of copies from Trajan from the tavern, and uh, same way with Martinez. And then you can level them up as you have uh, as you get blood. Or if you take your main PvP generals and um, you decide that you're going to retire one of them, you can retire them to the Senate so that they're already full of uh, stars and things of that nature. And uh, and that's a perfect perfect way to do it. That's how I got Martinez here. I replaced Martinez, and when I did that, I moved him into the council. And uh, so he's already fully ascended and ready to go. Okay, so you have these six titles. Within each title, you have four positions. These four positions are filled with generals. And the title can be promoted. When you go into here and click Promotion, you can see that the title itself gives you buffs, depending on the level. It goes from 1 to 7. And these are the requirements 
to be able to promote it to that next level. So this one's already two, so in order to go to level three, I have to have the ground position, the uh, cav position, and the archer position at level 11, and the siege at level zero. As you can see here, it says, hey, you meet this requirement, and these are red, you do not meet the requirement, and you have to have a whole bunch of glory golden twigs. Uh, the cost goes up depending on the level, and uh, so so this is how you can see if you meet the requirements to be able to promote it. If you do, then that'll become green. You hit green, you hit that button, and it'll promote it. Okay. So, what about the positions? You get buffs not only for the title; these are all the title buffs, but you also get uh, buffs for the positions themselves. So at level zero, it doesn't give you anything, but at level one uh, and and higher, it starts to give you buffs. So marching ground troop, uh, marching uh, marching mounted, marching or in city range, in city HP, and if you go through and you look at these, these are all different. This is what it looks like at level zero, and you get those buffs. Okay. Now, as you level these things up. Let me click upgrade. You'll see that this will continue to, ri um, to rise. And it goes up to level 30. So as this thing continues to rise, this number is going to go up. At each of these five level increments, you get an additional buff that gets added to it. So at level 5, this these are added to this position. Level 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Those all get into it. And once again, you'll see that the requirements uh, for it, as, as, you go to go th goes, as you go to level these things up, is just the twigs. This is the, I'm sorry, the merit jades. So these little merit jades, uh, what it costs. So 260 to go from level 12, 11 to level 12. And you just kind of see the contrast. It's 200 to go from level 5 to level 6. All right. So as you upgrade each of these positions in order to meet the promotion requirements, you're getting additional buffs. Also, for each of these, when you put a general in here, as you add more stars to the general, you get additional buffs. Now, it doesn't matter for the position buffs or for the title buffs whether this is a 10-star a, a, a general or a 5-star general you get the same amount of buffs. Uh, the only, uh, these buffs are separate from the position or the title buffs, okay? So you can get away with only having a five star in here and, uh, and you'll get this buff, you won't get those, but you will get all of the position buffs and you'll get the title buff, okay? Now, uh, as you look at these position buffs, they, uh, they're all different but they follow the same kind of pattern. The first three are based, uh, the first and the last one are that troop type. So marching ground and ground troop attack. Uh, the uh, one and two red stars and the fourth red star are in city buffs. And then that third one is the marching for ground. So the five gold stars, the th Three, number three red star and the number five red star are of that position. And then the other three buffs are in city for the first three. So as you go through, so as you go through and you look at these, you'll see that it's the same pattern. Okay. And that's going to be true here too. Ground, 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 and then in cities. Same way with the marshal. So for the first three, they're all in city buffs with that position. You get to the last three, the last three are all defending. So the difference between in-city and defending, in-city doesn't apply to uh, uh, going to a uh, building or a throne or those type of, those type of activities. Uh, if you're defending in those scenarios or in a relic, etc., uh, or anything else, anything except for a main keep, the uh, the in city only applies to those. 
so defending will apply in all scenarios where you're you are a defending troop so if you're in a keep whether you're in a building or in a throne a tower a relic um, etc or in your own keep defending will always apply so if you have an a, if you have the last three open you would probably want to put your best generals with the most stars in these last three because it will be a apply it will be applicable to more scenarios okay and if you look at the other th the the other three you still get the attack um, instead of marching it's in rally and if you're in a rally alliance it really doesn't matter you're going to be rallying more than you're doing solo attacks so there are more restrictions on the in rally um, is not a big deal but the numbers are all the same across all six of these things for the uh for these one th uh, one two and four eight ten and six eight ten and six okay so uh in review real quick so the count uh, the council of state has the senate and the senate has up to six different uh, uh titles that are available each of these titles can be promoted uh, for to level one through level seven. Um, each one of them has four positions. Those positions can be leveled from level uh, level zero to level thirty, and each of the positions can be manned by uh, or can be uh, occupied by any general that uh, that that can be ascended and uh, from the tavern or premium generals, etc. And then as you add stars to those, those also give buffs. And the primary items that you need are going to be the glory golden twig for upgrading the title and for upgrading the positions, it's going to be these uh, merit jades. Now I will tell you when you get to some of these levels, like uh, I think I have one at like level five. No, going from four to five. Let me see if I have one that's at level four. Yeah, here we go. When you get to the these levels, the five, ten, fifteen, and twenty, it requires both. Um, glory twigs and it requires merit jades but that's only at these milestone levels of 5 10 15 20 25 and 30 otherwise it's just the uh, the merit jade okay so that's really all there is to the council state and uh, make sure that you're actually going in here and looking at these things probably about once a week or so to see if you have more buffs that you can add to your account and uh, you can be selective about which one of these positions that you're going to increase on which one based upon the buffs. Or you can look at them based upon the uh, uh, requirements for the title it is that you're looking to increase. So, uh, you know, as these buffs are all different. So if you look at this one, this one's attacking. This one is defending. In your your in city, that's why my in city one was higher. I've worked it harder than I did the other ones because I wanted those buffs. I think this one is uh, rallying, so those are rally buffs, and then the others are have different ones. So make sure that you understand which one that it is that you want to uh, increase next. Work on the position levels to be able to meet that requirement, and then as you are retiring generals or uh, looking for generals within the tavern to, to be able to um, to add to these positions. Make sure you get ones that you can actually ascend. Uh, you can use the same general more than one time. So if you have a bunch of Metamamotos, you can put him in all you know um, all six of the uh, the archer positions if you really wanted to. If you notice, I have like Ulysses S. Grant here, and I think I've also got him right here as well, Ulysses S. Grant. So uh, you can use them more than one time. And you can also soul bind if you're into soul binding. You can soul bind to the council state as well. Okay, that's all I got for the council state. All right, thank you.